good morning uh, today we are going to discuss about the crystal features and uh, contact goniometer crystal features basically we can classify crystal features into crystal phase crystal age interfacial angle solid angle zones so these are the fundamental crystal features you can observe in any crystal okay a crystal will contain a phase and of course it will have an age and interfacial angles and a set of solid angles and uh, not necessarily but few crystals may have zones too so we are going to discuss that uh, how these features can be seen or identified crystal phase and age we can see that in the in the diagram the blue portion of a crystal is nothing but the face of the crystal face is a planar feature of the crystal where all points lies on a single plane here you can see that the blue portion it is a representative portion there are many other faces also but it is a representative portion where you can see the face is planar and all points on the plane lies on a single plane whereas these all faces combinedly forms the crystal okay so a crystal uh, in minimum can have two faces but maximum it can have 48 faces in cubic or isometric system due to the highest symmetry they have the highest number of faces in its one species whereas in few crystals where the symmetry is much lesser in that case only two faces are available so if the number of faces can varies from 2 to 48 so it's a big variation but here we should understand that what the face is it is nothing but the planar feature which bounds the crystal and every point which lies on the face lies in a single plane then what is age it is e d g e age age is the line generated by the intersection of two adjacent faces so you try to see the diagram where you can see that where the two faces combines or joins or intersect with each other a line is formed that line is termed as age so definitely when you will have faces uh, specifically more than two faces then that crystal will definitely have an age where the two faces would be intersecting to each other so this is the age and the face of a crystal interfacial angle what the interfacial angle is it is the angle between two adjacent faces here you must understand that the angle is between the two adjacent faces and not with any another face so if you have a two face in a crystal and if they are intersecting with each other then they will definitely create an angle and that angle would be obtuse acute or it could be right angle in in case of cube you will have a right angle so that angle between the two adjacent faces can be termed as an interfacial angle remember that the two faces should be adjacent to each other only then it can be termed as a can be termed as an interfacial angle in this diagram you can see that the angle could be obtuse acute it may be anything or though the crystals are would be different but still the angle would be same so it it is ultimately depends upon the orientation of the two interfacial angle interfacial faces of that crystal solid angle so interfacial angle was the angle between two adjacent faces but what solid angle is 
solid angle is the angle formed by the interception of three faces which are adjacent to each other. You can see that the corner, okay, the corner of any crystal will prepare or will create a solid angle. Because for the formation of the solid angle, you need three or more faces. If you don't have three faces, if you have only two faces, then the interfacial angle will form. But for the formation of the solid angle, you need three or more faces. In the diagram given, you can see that the corners A and uh, somewhere at E, you can see that that is referred as the solid angle because at that point, three faces are intersecting with each other. And because of that, solid angle is formed. Zones. A zone is defined as a group of crystal faces that intersect in parallel edges. So you must, so this is quite tedious to understand that what the zone is. See, zone is the group of crystal faces. Now try to see the notation in the given diagram 110, 0, 0, 010, 0, and 100. 0, 0. Okay, try to understand, try to see that uh, notations of the crystal. You can see that the 110 is a phase which is intersecting the parallel edges. You can see that it has two edges, okay, and they are parallel to each other. In that case, that portion is termed as zone. So a zone is defined as a group of crystal faces that intersect in parallel edges. Okay, so it, is, it is quite tedious to understand and in your practical classes, you will definitely will get a clear idea about the zones. Contact goniometer. So uh, contact goniometer is the instrument used to measure interfacial angle. Now you need an instrument to measure an interfacial angle for any crystal. Okay, so contact goniometer can be used to measure the angle between the two interfacial angles. You can see in the diagram, there is a, a protector where you have been pivoted with a, with a scale-like feature and you have to just put your crystal or the interfacial angle of your interest between this scale and the protector and then the, protector, the, the orientation of the protector in the exactly opposite side will give you the interfacial angle. So contact goniometer is basically used for the measurement of the interfacial angles. We cannot measure solid angles with the contact goniometer. Only interfacial angles can be measured. It is a very fundamental type of instrument which we usually use for the measurement of the interfacial angle for any crystal. You can measure an obtuse angle. At the same time, you can measure an acute angle too. Or you can also measure the angle which is perpendicular or 90 degree. So contact goniometer is a very fundamental instrument by which an interfacial angle can be measured. So let us revise our uh, today's lecture. Today we have studied about the crystal features and contact goniometer where we have seen the different crystal features like face, age, interfacial angle, solid angles, and zones. In crystal faces and ages, we have seen that a crystal face is a planar feature which bounds the crystal. Every point on the face lies in a single plane. Maximum, the crystal can have up to 48 faces and minimum, the crystal must have two faces depending upon the symmetry of that crystal. Age. When two faces intersect with each other, the age is formed. So age is nothing but the line indicating the intersection of two adjacent faces. Interfacial angle. 
it is the angle between the two adjacent faces. It could be acute, obtuse, or perpendicular. It depends on the crystal species. And two different crystal species can have a similar interfacial angles, or it can have a different interfacial angles. You can see here in the diagram that how the different crystals are probably having the same interfacial angles. Solid angles. Solid angles are defined as the angle formed by the intersection of three or more pieces. In this diagram, you can see that how the corners of the crystal where the three faces are intersecting signifies the formation of the solid angle. Zones. A zone is defined as a group of crystal faces that intersect in the pattern edges. One one knot or one one zero is the indicative phase for the zone. Contact goniometer. This is the instrument used to measure the interfacial angle. We usually measure the interfacial angle in the lab. For that, we use contact goniometer. In that case, you can see the diagram that on the projector, a uh, scale like feature is pivoted, and you have to put your interfacial angle of interest, and you have to arrange it as it is shown in the diagram, and you can measure the interfacial angle with the help of this instrument. Thank you very much. If you have any question, you can ask your question. The session is open for the question and answer.